guys, it's me Daily and welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday and I'm going to be filming a couple of videos this weekend because I'm trying to get into the schedule of posting Mondays and Wednesdays from now on. Stay tuned for Mondays and Wednesdays because that's what I'm going to be posting. Anyway, today I'm just going to be doing a little book haul. It's not a haul... It's, <laughs> it's not a whole lot of books. I think there's maybe like eight books here. But I was just thinking for a video idea because I don't have a lot planned right now. I think this will be a new more, a better like setting for me because the sun is kind of shining in. It puts a little bit more brightness onto me so it's not so um, pixelated in my videos. But if you have any tips for me like on how to make my videos better, I will definitely take those into consideration and probably do what you want. But like I realized that... It could be just me or it could be just everybody, but when I post a video and I watch it on YouTube, it it's very, very glitchy, not glitchy, it is very, very pixelated and not fun to look at. And then when I go into my files, it's really clean and pretty visible and you can, it's, it's better quality. So I don't know if it's just my internet or if it's happening for everyone, so if you would let me know if when you watch my videos, they're like pixelated and not good quality. I would love to hear from you so that I can try and fix it because I don't know how to fix it, but it could mean that I need a better camera. Anyway, before we get started, I got a new phone, but I'm excited. I got the gray because I was nervous that if it was going to be like shiny, I wouldn't like it because I don't know if you know this. I don't like shiny things. <laughs> I don't like um, metallics or clear stuff. I don't like it <laughs> so yeah it just it's a pet peeve but it also kind of makes me want to throw up so I don't know if it's like a phobia or not enough of that <laughs> um, let's get into this book haul it's really small and there's about seven books here so it won't take too long so the first book I have I'm very very confused on um, I was going through my grandma's shed with her we were cleaning it out and um, just organizing through everything and seeing if we needed anything out or if we could just put it back in in a more organized way. And um, we found this really old book. It's more than a century old. <laughs> um, so here it is. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in a completely different language. I know that the first word is like Sir Here. Bell. So if you can read whatever language this is, would you please let me know what this is? Because I don't. For some reason, the front has a different title than the side, and you can just see how old it is. It's kind of bent out of shape, and the pages are very, very yellowed and gross, and the spine's kind of, like, wrinkled. But overall, for a century-old book, it's pretty decent. Um, anyway, so the front page is, like, ripped out. I have no clue what it's about. I know that it's in a completely different language. Um, so in the front here, it says right here, 1915 but of course I don't know it says the copyright is 1914 I don't know I'm assuming it's more than a century old because of the copyright but I can't look it up because I don't know what this says <laughs> so I can't really tell how old it is but I'm assuming it's pretty old and on the inside here there's a picture of a dude and like a signature and I'm still figuring out if that is signed or if it's printed on. It could be printed but when I put my finger over it it feels indented so I don't know if it's printed or not. It could be printed but at the same time if you look at it it doesn't look printed. Um, so I'm still figuring that out. I don't know if it's printed or not. Um, if it is, that's still fine because it's a cool book anyway. So I've been keeping this on my classic sh shelf because I don't I don't know. I was going to read it at one point, but then I was like, wait, this is a completely different language. There's a lot of images in here. I just realized this now. There's images. But if you have any idea to what this book is or what language it's in, if you could let me know, that'd be great. Because I just want to know, like, when was it made? How old is it really? I'm assuming a century old, but it could be less or more. I don't even know. But it's still cool. I still like it. I don't know why my grandma had it, but she did. That's all I have to say for this one. I don't really know how to explain what it's about because I don't know what it's about at all. Um, so yeah. The next book I have here is Pan's Labyrinth by 
Guillermo del Toro and Cornella Funk. I mentioned this in my October TBR, if you saw that, it's so pretty. Um, this cover is amazing, and it has like a feeling on it. Um, it's just really pretty. And here's the back, and I really don't know what this is about, except that there's like a girl and weird creatures involved. But this is the undercover. <laughs> It's a goat. I'm pretty sure the goat is like her protector or something. I have still no clue. I could be wrong, so don't quote me. And then I'm pretty sure that's Pan or something. And I just found out when I got the book. Ooh, and there's images. Um, I found out that there's a movie to it and it's on Netflix. So once I read this, I would love to watch the movie and just hopefully enjoy it. I This was definitely a cover by... My dad bought it for me one day, and I thank him for that. And it was definitely because of the cover. I have no clue what it's about. I just got it because of how beautiful it is, and I really hope I like it. <laughs> the next two books here are from Book of the Month. So, my September Book of the Month pick was The Last Story of Mina Lee by Nancy Juyon Kim. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, the undercover, I love those colors. So beautiful. Anyway, I didn't end up reading this that month. I wanted to start, like, reading my, like, if I got it in the mail, like, September. I want to read it in September, you know. Um, that was my goal when I started out with Book of the Month, but obviously I'm four books in now and I still, I've only read one of them. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This is about a girl whose mother passes away and, like, the daughter starts to find secrets about the mother. And I'm pretty sure it's in different perspectives. I don't know. That's all I really know about it. On Good on Goodreads. On Book of the Month's website, they have like a little inserts of kind of the idea of the story. And when I read it, it said like a story about a mother and daughter and struggles and stuff like that. And I was like, ooh, I can relate. So I picked this one. I picked this one because of that, because I thought I could relate, but my mom is very much alive. That's all I really know about it. I like the cover with the colors on it and stuff. And the, the back is like, um, it's kind of ombre. It's not very noticeable on camera, but yeah, I'm excited. Also, you should definitely go to Book of the Month because these are only about $10 every month, maybe like $12, $15 every month. Usually these books kind of go for $27 a piece because most of them are adult hardcovers. They're, they're all adult hardcovers. Sometimes they add some YA, but adult hardcovers are so expensive and Book of the Month has them for like $10 less than you would normally buy them for, which could get you an entire different book. The other Book of the Month pick was for this month, October, and I picked Leave the World Behind by Ruman Alam, and this one is fairly short, so I'm assuming I'm going to get to it this month. And it has a creepy feeling, by the way, that's the undercover. And I like it a lot. And this is about like a couple named Clay and Amanda who go up to like a luxurious cabin house in the middle of nowhere um, with their children. And a mysterious older couple like shows up and mysterious things start happening. And I don't know, that's all I really know about it, but I love like how like somewhat monochromatic this book is. I don't know, I love the cover and the designs. Yeah, I'm planning on getting to this one this month, so I really hope I can get to it this month. It seems interesting and I kind of just want to know what happens. And it's super short, so I'm hoping I can like get through it in like a day or two. That would be great, that would be a dream of mine. <laughs> I usually don't get through books that often or that quick. The next book I have here is another one I want to read this month, and that is Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Cesar, and it says, the kids are not alright. And I'm pretty sure it's just about like a killer clown going around, which kind of gives me it, it kind of feelings, but at the same time, it doesn't, I guess. And the undercover is just red. I wish there was like a clown indent in it or whatever. I pretty much got this based off of the idea of the story. I never really understood what the story was about, but I'm pretty sure this young girl or teenager, like, with her dad or something, like moves to this new town and um, there's like a group of kids who make trouble and like they get blamed for everything that goes bad and then like a clown shows up out of nowhere and like starts killing people I'm pretty sure, I don't know. The concept doesn't sound good from the synopsis to me but I'm really hoping I like it. So it was kind of another like 
cover by because I was like, ooh, clown in a cornfield. That's scary. Um, but yeah, I was hoping that maybe I could like get through this in like three days or so because it's about 350 pages or so. So it's doable. And I'm excited to pick this one up and I really hope I get to it. There's so many books I want to get to this month that I'm probably not going to get to. The next book I have here is One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. So this is about a plus size woman who like calls into the Bachelor show one day and is like, you only have one type of girl on there, you know, skinny, perfect body. And then they invite her onto the show, which I don't know why, but I love that concept so much. I just can't wait to read it, and I'm so excited. I really wanted to read it, like, the day I got it, but I was like, it's October. Calm down. You can wait until, like, February or something. No, I'm not going to wait that long, I hope. But, yeah, this is another adult book, and I just... I don't know. I'm just really excited to read it. I love the concept and the idea and the cover, how, like, there's just, like, pink and blue, and I like that a lot, and, um... I don't know. And it's like really floppy too. It's like really heavy and floppy and I like it. And um, I really hope I like it because I don't know, just the idea of the book just captured me right away. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm super duper excited for this book and I cannot wait to read it. Um, I don't think I'm going to pick it up this month though because I don't... There's so many other scary books I need to get to first. The final book here is... A Tale of Witchcraft by Chris Colfer. Now this is his other series. If you don't know, I've already read most of the Land of Stories series. I am not done with the last book yet because the last like four or three books in the series have just been very, very boring for me. So I just don't have the urge to pick it up. But I'm hoping sooner or later, like I really want to read it this month, you know, because it's witchcraft and it seems like, you know, spooky. Um, but I have the first one in the series, so this is the second book in his series that he's just let out recently this month, and I just really want to read it, you know? I want to see what this new adventure is like, and I don't really know the whole concept of the series, but I do know that these covers are gorgeous and they have, like, cutouts here, and, oh, the undercover is even better, like, look at that. Oh my god. Like, this cover is gorgeous. Why? <laughs> and the whole, like, idea of the covers really reminds me of The Land of Stories. I'm pretty sure it's in the same, like, world as The Land of Stories, but I might be wrong, so don't, you know, quote me on that either. But I'm still not done with The Land of Stories series, and I really want to finish it so I can get into his new series and kind of, like, keep up with it as books come out. So I'm hoping that this is, like, a fresh start for Chris Colfer. I have some of his other books here. I have Stranger Than Fan Fiction and all of that. So yeah. Um, anyway, this is that book and I'm so excited to have it on my shelves. But anyway, that's my book haul for today. It was pretty short and hopefully you don't mind that. Um, I'm just preparing myself because once like Christmas starts coming around, that's like December, my birthday. I'm going to be doing like a birthday book haul probably. And then I'll probably be doing like a Christmas book haul. So there's going to be like a lot of videos flooding in about like Christmas and stuff like that. So yeah. Also stay tuned because um, remember I'm posting every Monday and Wednesday at noon now. So stay tuned for Mondays and Wednesdays at noon for my videos. And again, don't forget to tell me if the quality is glitchy and like not glitchy. If your quality at home on my videos is very pixelated as well because that might be a sign I need a different camera. Um... I don't know, I'm just really scared to buy a new camera because I feel like if I buy a new camera, it's not going to work. And then it's just like, why did I buy a new camera now? So anyway, thank you for watching today's video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to. If you want to. We had just hit 15 subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone, who subscribed to me. And I love you all. And um, yeah, so that's all I have to say. Those are all the books I have that are new to my shelves, and I can't wait to read them all. Like, seriously, I can't wait, except for that different language one. Again, if you have any idea of what that is or what language it's in, please let me know. So I hope you guys have a great um, rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye!